just when we thought it wouldn't get any better, I just got word that Diddy is accused of sexually assaulting a 10-year-old aspiring rapper in 2005. Um, this is what it says. Prominent Houston lawyer Tony Busby has filed another lawsuit against Diddy, this time on behalf of a plaintiff who is accusing the music mogul of sexually assaulting him when he was just 10 years of age. According to, the, according to Rolling Stone, the new plaintiff, Diddy, gr rugged and graped him in a New York City hotel back in 2005. The then 10-year-old plaintiff claims his parents accompanied him to a meeting with industry executives. See, that was, the parents be doing this. They be wanting their kid to be famous so bad to live through their, live through their children, they put their kids in the worst predicaments to save themselves, including Diddy, which was supposed to help advance his rap career. The suit claims that the plaintiff was sent to a hotel room in which he was left alone with Diddy, and he was given soda that he believes was laced with drugs. Another plaintiff consumed his soda, and he began feeling its effects. What? Combs told the plaintiffs to move close to him, which plaintiff did. The lawsuit states Combs then abruptly pushed plaintiffs down and said, words of the effect of, you have to do some stuff you don't want to do sometimes. <sighs> the suit claims that Diddy once, that once Diddy pushed the plaintiff down, he pulled his yenis out of his pants and told the 10-year-old to kiss it. Oh my God. The lawyer behind this lawsuit is interested in media attention rather than the truth, as it's obvious from his constant press appearances and 1 800 number, as we said before. Mr. Combs cannot respond to every new publicity stunt, even in response to claims that are fact, essentially, uh, facially ridiculous or demonstrably false. Mr. Combs and his legal team have full confidence in the facts and the integrity of the judicial process. In court, the truth will prevail that Mr. Combs never sexually assaulted or, tra or trafficked anyone. Diddy's media team. So now the media team are trying to say the lawyers are making false allegations. Um, because just recently, they're saying it was 10 year olds and 17 year olds all right um the second lawsuit accuses diddy of uh assaulting a 17 year old who would be consent on the reality television show making the band in 2008 so now people from 2005 and 08 are coming out against diddy and they're filed in the state supreme court in a, a wave of lawsuits now mind you he was just hit with seven more lawsuits now i feel like a lot of people are coming out and just trying to get a buck out of this they're trying to drain the swamp on P. Diddy. They're trying to come out and get every single dollar that they can. And his lawyers, of course, denied the two new claims Monday and accused the plaintiff's lawyer, the guy Busby from Houston, um, who also represents the accusers, of seeking publicity. Now, we all know publicity gets you clout. Maybe the lawyer wants to try to pick up some new cases. He wants to use his name and say that he helped somebody get some money, get some hush money out of the Diddy case. But, um, you know, Combs has been locked up on federal sex trafficking charges in an indictment um, since uh, September 16th. It is now Oct uh, shoot, October 28th. Um, and he's been in jail for a long time. And a lot of people, he's been denied bail multiple times. And people just keep slapping lawsuit after lawsuit. Um, so we got the 10-year-old boy whose parents bought him around Diddy. They said he laced him with some soda. And in the second lawsuit, a 17-year-old Unidentified male said Combs forced him into sexual acts with Combs and a bodyguard during a three-day audition of Making the Band. Now, where was all this years even after Making the Band already had bad press around it? Where was all this information even back then? Um, he is eliminated from the competition, unable to return to the music industry for seven years. So you're telling me P. Diddy is now gatekeeping people out of the music industry? He didn't make the audition and did he say you can't come into the music industry for seven years? How did that happen? Both lawsuits were brought on the New York City's Victim of Gender Motivated Violence Protection Act, which allows survivors to bring lawsuits even in the statute of limitations has passed. So I think people are now realizing that Diddy is locked up in New York. They're using this and people are just coming out the woodworks. Now, if Diddy is really this big of a monster that people are speculating and everyone is coming out of the woodworks with lawsuits, because there was a guy who won the $200 million of hush money. Hold on. Diddy, uh, no default lawsuit. Because, yeah, a Lenox County Circuit Court judge decided Wednesday to set aside the default judgment that required the Bad Boys Record finally to pay $100 million 
to Michigan inmate. So there was a guy who won a hundred million dollar lawsuit against Diddy because let me show you what a default judgment is. Basically, he just didn't show up to the court cases anymore. A default judgment, the, uh, the defendant fails to respond to a court summons that does not appear in court. So Diddy didn't appear in court for that case. And um, let me go back and double it. In Michigan, and the inmate who was actually in jail is $100 million richer because Diddy just did not show up to court. And there were records of Diddy showing that Diddy was trying to pay him hush money instead of going through with the proceedings when he was going to visit him in prison. So with seven more allegations coming out, uh, one is now with a 13-year-old girl. Wow. Um, his lawyer tried again Monday to get him freed on bail in the company. They're not letting Diddy out of jail. More than 100 accusers had coming out. So what this lawyer is doing is, I guess he started a 1-800 number for accusers to call in, and he's going to attack them. He's going to help them attack Diddy and probably get a lot of money out this. He's, he's found a loophole to make some money. So this guy, Tony Busby, he is running around trying to expose as many people as possible attached to the Diddy case and have a, a field day of money. Um, Busby emphasizes the case which represents 120 individuals. He's representing 120 individuals. Um, wow. 25 years worth of victims. Many people are scared. He's explaining. So he is, he said one of the youngest victims is nine years old when this happened. Do I believe this with 100% heart? I don't know what to believe. But I know this guy, Tony Busby, is out here trying to make a killing off this lawsuit. Um, The 17-year-old male at a Manhattan penthouse in 2022, they're saying, has spoken out. I'm a 13-year-old girl. Invited to a party by a limousine driver after the v, uh, VMAs in Manhattan in September of 2000. Was gripped by a male celebrity and then by Combs. This is bad for P. Diddy. This is very, very, very bad for P. Diddy. He's getting denied bail. He's facing more and more charges. I don't know what the future of Diddy is about to be. But when they're saying you're drugging little kids... 10 year old boys this is not good um i don't think they're gonna let diddy out of jail anytime soon let's see what he has to say here. many of you came here thinking or hoping perhaps uh believing that i may start naming names well that day will come but it won't be today i call them the facilitators of foul play willing participants in vile conduct as we identify them, each will be part of this case as defendants. These defendants will not only include individuals, but would also include corporate entities who ultimately profited off of this culture and behavior. I'm looking at banks, pharmaceutical companies, hotels. We know that many of these individuals were paid cash. We know that, that Many of these individuals involved, whether they were the ones being assaulted and abused or they're witnessing other people being assaulted and abused and then paid and threatened and told to leave, typically paid 10 grand in cash and told to leave and then threatened as they were leaving. So in addition to Sean Combs, you should know the defendants in these cases we're going to file will include anyone, of course, who engaged in the assault or exploitation anyone who participated in such in any way, anyone who encouraged or facilitated this conduct, anyone who was in the room and watched it happen but made no effort to stop it, any venue or venue owner who was aware of what was going on but failed to stop it, any individual or entity who knew about the conduct and benefited from it but did nothing to report it or stop it, and any individual or entity who covered it up or helped cover it up. These people who know who they are should just come forward now. Given the large volume of cases and given our other docket obligations and given the fact that we want to be sure when we file these cases that they are fully vetted, I expect we'll start filing these cases against Sean Combs and other perpetrators within the next 30 days. So you hear how he said that, right? We these are we're gonna make sure these are fully vetted. Uh, I don't think he's coming to play. 
I don't think he's coming to. I got to see his track record. I don't think he's coming to play. Um, never in a ten day people have you seen three thousand people come forward. I guess three thousand people have came forward, which is gonna be a lot of people trying to cash in on money. But he has a hotline, obviously. Um, so he's trying to get in as much. But I guess that's why he's vetting people. But this is very interesting. I don't think he's coming to play. I don't know who this guy is and why he's after Diddy so hard. Um, I don't know what his thing. He's an American lawyer, political figure. Uh, he ran for mayor of Houston, but lost uh, to Sylvester Turner. He also ran for Houston City Council, but lost. Um, so he doesn't have a really good track record of, of um, you know, being a politician. But he's about to capitalize off this Diddy case. He's about to capitalize off this Diddy case as best as he can. But you let me know your thoughts. I think if all this stuff is true about Diddy, man, this guy is a sick dude. Um, this lawyer is not coming to play. 120 people came out, seven new cases. Now they're talking about 10-year-olds and 17-year-olds being drugged. If Diddy did all this stuff, he is one of the most sickest men in black America. I mean, there's probably somebody more. Let me not say that. But hip-hop. Let's say in hip-hop. Diddy is sick. If this is all true, all these 120 people that have stories about you are real. All the people who watch this happen, you're sick too. Um, the hotels, the bodyguards, the entourage, other artists who got the deal but watched the other person get the bad end of the deal. Touch that, touch that, take that, take that. You're sick. But if you're truthfully right and innocent, then the justice system just wanted to milk you for cash, my brother. But y'all let me know your thoughts about that. I'm gone.